Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to the weekly vlog on a Thursday who knew now you've read the title this is going to be a follow-up vlog to the one I did the week before last on the PlayStation Classic and on the fact that I thought the list of games was incredibly underwhelming and license issues aside that um, basically the whole thing felt really really sort of um, rushed well now at the start of this week I understand that other people have talked about this topic you know, um, but the thing is, I'm invested in it. And I don't mean emotionally, I mean, I'm financially invested in it. So I'm allowed to talk about it and air my, well, not just annoyance, but outright anger at Sony on this. And obviously before, you know, we'll talk about it at the end of this video, but you know, should I cancel, should I not cancel? We'll wait about that. So anyway, it's no denying that they've jumped straight on the, the coattails of Nintendo, particularly by getting this out for Christmas, because they know it will sell an absolute bucket load to get a mini out there. I want to say, I want to say and honour the importance of the PlayStation, because the fact that Sony have made so little effort, effort on this, which I'll get to, um, is not just an insult to us loyal fans, but it's an insult to the legacy of this system. What a great system it was. You know, you could argue the first true adult system. But yeah, so I mean, I'm just going to talk about it in a vlog. If you want any more information, there's a whole bunch of channels that were invited. This is where it is. I'd be ashamed to invite people to Sony, you know, HQ, and have them play around with this, with this in, in this state. And th that would be the final state, being so little sort of passion or effort put into it. So anyway, what are my problems with the PlayStation Classic? Apart from the obvious in this country, at least that £89 is overpriced. You know, ignoring the exchange rate and stuff like that, once again in the UK, it's overpriced compared to other territories. But basically, it is an absolute bare minimum effort machine that reeks, reeks of just grabbing your cash. The menu is boring, utterly, utterly tat. It doesn't even boot with the full PlayStation screen. Now, you can argue that's a bit of a silly point, but those of us massively into nostalgia, that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? But the menu is, the game select menu is absolutely unimaginative crap, as is the complete and utter lack of features. Uh, you've got your save states, pretty much that's it. Whether things change or not, whether I got any of this wrong, you know, by all means, means correct me in the comments down below. But yeah, you've got your save states and that's pretty much it. There is no filtering whatsoever. No filtering, no CRT, no nothing, which to me is particularly on the fact that, you know, uh, running early 3D PlayStation games, you want some sort of filtering, particularly in HD. Now, I know we all walked into it when we said, uh, when they announced it, before they announced the crap follow-up list of games, that, you know, it's an HD get system, it's not going to play original PlayStation. Um, original PlayStation 3D is not a looker, although you could argue that Tekken still is, excuse me. I'm not on the Diet Coke, I'm on the Diet Lemonade. Why? Because our white lemonade, I forgot, not only were you part of my childhood, how bloody tasty and delicious you were. Anyway, so yeah, uh, no filters whatsoever. I mean, could they not have even added, this is the bit that annoys me, could they not have even added the filter from the PlayStation 2 you could use? Remember when you went to the options to speed up the disc and you could add a filter? Could they not have put that in? I, I think that, yeah, like I said, look up the tile screen, look up the no filters. It is... <sighs> There is no heart, soul, or imagination gone into this, you know, interior-wise whatsoever. The outside looks absolutely fantastic. They've even made the uh, the leads uh, wider than you know the, the the USB socket itself, so it looks like the original, you know, wide wide ass, uh, you know, unit plugs that went into the PlayStation. That's kind of cool. It's even got a hatch on the back. You can open it, but that's still kind of cool. So the outside is fine and gym and dandy and it's tiny and looks really nice. It's just the inside. You've made absolutely fuck all efforts. And here's the worst bit, right? The absolute worst bit is it uses someone else's emulation. 
you know, uh, is it, I could be wrong, PCSX? Which by all means is a very, very good, solid PlayStation emulator, but it's, you're, you're giving us no features, you know, all right, save state. You press the button to change the disc, which everyone thinks is nice. I would rather they just edited the games in such a way that they would just play into each other. Surely they could have done that. You know, it's not like their time was taken up doing fucking anything else, but, um, yeah, so you, you someone else's emulator, you're giving us crap games, right? You're giving us minimal, minimal menu, right? It, to me, is anyone else just feeling they had Sony's hand in their pocket right now? Sony, like, it, as an insult as well, slapping you in your face so they distract you, then sticking their hand in your pocket? Because you've got to remember, right, where, you know, whatever your opinion or belief on these mini micro systems or whatever they are, that Nintendo, you know, the, um, the, the, the mini NES and the mini SNES, are brilliant they are absolutely brilliant that the interface is fantastic the options you know the filters the rewind type why is there no rewind feature on this could you not even put that in I'd be ashamed to release this knowing the effort that Nintendo puts into theirs I really really would ah uh, you know I mean all these systems are an emulator or well uh, Nintendo's chips on a, a system on a chip but this one's emulation PS PC um, SX I mean it's an open source emulator. This is the only bit that gives me some solace. It's an open source emulator. Uh, I mean, the, the legality of it, it has been explained. But yeah, yeah. So, so you use someone else's emulator. You didn't you know, do anything yourself. You gave us no... I mean, I'd like to meet the bloke whose idea for this was and to ask him, justify this machine to the customer other than, from your point of view, you know, why did you make this, I mean, from your point of view? Prove to me it's not a cash grab. I mean, we all kind of know it was, and you could argue that to some degree the Nintendo ones are, but the Nintendo's ones reek of passion, and that someone gave a shit when they made them, uh, you know, and the little details and the tweaks and the stuff here, and the rewind time feature, and, you know, that is a mini system. This is a cold, callous, out before Christmas, you know, a list of five semi-decent games, follow it up with a list of games that are underwhelming and then follow that up having like I said I'd be embarrassed to invite people to my HQ and say check this out you know they, they had no problem with people making videos about it and stuff what did they think they were going to say other than this is unimaginative lazy ass cash grabbing at its best it's like I just I don't understand it that's the worst thing the audacity that Sony invited people to check out this bare basics lazy ass emulation by someone else box and what didn't think people were going to say negative things about it and now the worst thing is this is why i'm particularly upset not just because it doesn't honor the heritage and the importance of the system a system in many people's eyes was their first introduction to gaming to console gaming as well ignoring people like me who grew up through the entire development of you know these systems there, there are two camps you know and it's 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 an insult to the memory of that it's an insult to these people's memories and Worst of all that really, really upsets me about it is if you look outside of this and look at other things Sony have done, you know, uh, like the PSVR and stuff like that, even the um, uh, the Vita, granted it failed and it comes down to the Sony's lack of effort on it once they released it. But the point being, they innovate, they're imaginative, they, you know, they go out there, they push boundaries and stuff. And and then you've got this because it's still a Sony, but they thought, ah, it doesn't count, it's just a little mini microsystem. No, it's got your brand on it, Sony. Your brand is important to a lot of people. And obviously it's important to you because you've got this out there with your brand on it, knowing that that will sell this when it is just the laziest cash grab I've ever you know what I'm going to say that? I've seen in a long time, I should say, in video games. You know, nostalgia is a big thing, yes. And should a company have the right to cash in on that? Yes. But then also, you know, what they don't seem to understand is these are our memories. And maybe they're machine, but these are our memories. I don't know. Have a fucking care, Sony. Have a care and put something out there that reeks of passion, of the importance of the machine. You know, the development behind it. The fact that it made you the biggest player in video games now, which was unheard of at the time. It was a gamble then. And this, I guess you could argue that's the worst thing about it. This isn't even a gamble. This is just people are buy it based on our brand. We don't have to do fuck all. Cannot tell you, you know, and that's the majority of reviews and things people have said, particularly those people who got to go to Sony and even said they were amazed that Sony let them see this and were thinking, is this not the finished unit? No, it's the finished unit. Well, of course it is. It's out, you know, unless in a month. 
yeah i mean i'd love to know what you think as always really like to know what you think uh, and i'm sure there'll be a bunch of people who say i told you so this is why i'm never gonna buy it and yeah you're right um yeah very very disappointing as someone who was a not just an early adopter to the playstation i imported a japanese one at 450 pounds in 94 was it you know a year or a bit or so before they were out in the uk and you know so i've got you know i've got thoughts and attachments and much love to this system even before we get to nostalgia and um, yeah now the solace i said we could take from it with it being p uh, pcsx is if it's open source off the shelf absolutely well you know worst to bite you in the ass guaranteed this machine is hackable so i don't know two minds do i not cancel my order and keep it because i can build it into the machine i want it to be uh, or do I just get my money back? Or do I just hang on and see it firsthand? Because you can always, you will all, it's, it's easy to form an opinion. That's why I will say take these things with a pinch of salt. It's easy to form an opinion from watching something. And even as basic as it looks, that will never be the same as your physical hands-on approach. So, I don't know. Do I cancel or do I keep it on the chance that I can make it into a cool little mini system that I want? Or, worst comes to worst, after my hands-on with it, I don't like it. It's Christmas. And I don't even mean for profit here. Because I'm not one of those people, but it's Christmas. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get rid of it. No problem whatsoever for no more than what I paid for it. Uh, and had to at least, you know, settle the sort of um, <clears throat> the uh, my, my opinions and thoughts on it for good, you know, physically hands on myself. Anyway, I'm, but I've, I've waffled. I've been all over the shop, but um, at least I'm refreshed from my R White's lemonade. That's a good positive. I think we can all take from this video. Um, but yeah, I'm quite disappointed, Sony. I think you're playing your core loyal market for a bunch of fucking idiots, to be perfectly honest. But as always, I'd love to know what you people think out there. Are you still getting it? Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not interested from people. Well, I am interested in what everyone says. But if you're never going to get it, you know, I, I want to know from people who have all of it. Are you cancelling it now? You know, did you did you cancel it at the game port stage when they revealed that, or now is this like absolutely fuck you, Sony? Anyway, like I said, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.